I am such a fan of straight hair, but I'm also such a fan of curly hair. So are you team curl or team straight? But I'm gonna take my flat iron, which all I did today on my ends was just flat iron the ends. I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm gonna give it curls and they're gonna be fun curls and they're gonna be light. So check out these beach waves that I can get from my flat iron. All right, I'm gonna turn this on to 110, 110 degrees. Um, this is my flat iron that is titanium. So it's a flat, it's a titanium, uh, it's a titanium flat iron because um, I don't have virgin hair. I don't, my hair isn't easy to curl. And so I find that titanium flat irons do a better job than ceramic. But if you have that virgin hair, if you have that easy to curl hair, then a ceramic is good for you. All right, let's roll this out. So you decide, do you want it to be a middle part or a side part? Where do you roll? <laughs> middle part or side part? Because I have been obsessed with the middle part lately and yes, I still wear my skinny jeans. Supposedly in 2020, one, 2021, you're not supposed to do both, but prove otherwise. So I'm gonna part this off because it's 10 times easier when you do. And then I am going to roll this beautiful bean footage out. If you didn't just get what I was said, but remember the commercials with the bean that could talk and they talked about the beautiful bean footage? Roll out that beautiful bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Drop it. No? Okay. All right, it's parted off. I already have products in my hair before. That is the biggest kicker. If you don't put products in your hair before and you're like, my hair will never perform the way I want it to, huge reason why. You gotta do things that take care of your hair before. Adding in a heat protectant even, like what do you do? One thing that I could do today though, this is a heat protection and it's gonna make things more sleek, is this product called Posh, it's from Lange. I'm an affiliate for Lange. I'm also an affiliate for do what's good for your hair. <laughs> that's what I love. But that's what I'm gonna be using today a little bit, maybe not on every single curl, but this stuff has like oilness to it. Oh wait, is this my one? There we go. I kind of sort of broke one, I dropped it. So a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. And I'm just gonna kind of put it on through. It has a little bit of a oil to it, so I wanna be careful not to get it up to my root but it's gonna make my curls really sleek. So when I use a flat iron, I like to do what I say is like a ballerina in a jewelry box, right? Because you're coming in like this and you're just spinning it. So when you try and curl like this, it gets really hard and it's like things get weird. But I like to keep the jewelry box type curl um, with it. So we just keep spinning and going round and round and then we get these curls. So today, the way I get a looser curl and a, versus a tighter curl is you literally go in quicker or slower. So I'm gonna go in quicker so that I get more of a beach wave for my flat iron. And that's how I like to do it. So I just, I don't take my time and we go in nice and quick. Okay, so then I, as I go around, let me fix this. And why do I always wear black shirts on the days I do hair stuff? Like that's just crazy. Okay, I fixed that and now we're just gonna come through really quick. All right, let's see. It's 141 real time. We'll see how quickly I can do this. Sometimes I get to talking and then it makes it go by quicker. So even when I move to the back, ballerina twirl all the way round and round. Now with these curls, I'm not gonna be super spot on making sure my part is perfect. Cause again, this is just a fast beach wave, messy kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Ballerina curl, round and round we go. So before I blow dry my hair, I always, 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 and I'll post this in the comments or in the post below. So every time I make a YouTube video, I always put the products that I use. Um, and I will put that in the um, post information, but 
Before I blow dry my hair, I'm always wanting to focus on a couple things. I think about my hair type and then I think about what my hair needs. So usually most people, they need, they need a volumizer, they need a texture type thing, they need possible frizz, control, that's mostly what they need, feeling like their hair, they're in control of their hair. So you wanna make sure you're getting products that are for that, for your hair. So this one is a super skinny piece and because these are such loose curls, I'm just gonna take that whole section. Normally, don't do this, but this is a super slender piece and it's okay if we get things a little bit messy. So I truly am just gonna grab this like this and put it on through. And I'm really not gonna care because again, this is a looser type curl with the style that we're doing. Okay, run this round and round to go. So before I blow dried my hair though, I put in this product called Glaze Hair Lotion. That's a protector that helps protect from UV. It adds moisture, um, protect, or adds moisture. And then I put in a mousse to create volume. And then I put in a texturizer, which is a salt and sea spray. And those are what I put in my hair beforehand. My people that have frizzy hair, you wanna definitely take care of the frizz. And we have this product with Lange called Sorbet. And you can take the glaze and the sorbet and put them in the palm of your hand at the exact same time. And I know it seems like it's a lot and crazy, but it makes it truly easy. And then you're creating a customized product for yourself. So then we, I do that and then um, you do your volume anything that you want for volume too, and texture if you want texture. Oh, but do you wanna know a really cool tip? I don't use um, the, oh, I got it right here, salt and sea spray on my ends. It makes it so, cause having such bleached out hair, it makes it, it doesn't dry out the ends. It's like magic. All right, moving on up, making this easy as we go. The loose curl is probably one of the things that people say they like the most out of my hair tutorials. So see that? And then day two hair, the loose curl is so awesome as well because it's just a little more looser and it just creates the funnest wave. Y'all love it so much. So this one does make fun because it's barely anything and you can change your part and then it just makes such a fun, fun curl. We'll just, I'm gonna go a little higher. Can you see that? Cause since we're not so focused all the way through and we're keeping that ballerina, that ballerina curl with the flat iron. So remember to keep it upright and then that ballerina just twirling in place like the whole time, just sliding it on through the hair. And then I don't put a ton of emphasis on my ends. Um, I just kind of slide it on out, but I don't try and curl the ends and that seems to get more of that as well. Okay, I think I got all those. So this is the part where you are going to determine which part you want. So I'm going to show you something that I actually haven't shown in any of my other tutorials before. I'm gonna be doing this all down the center and then I'm gonna show you what it is it, when I flip this side over to here, the, the amount of volume that it's gonna give you. What it does do, though do is you've noticed I'm putting everything back, I'm not doing anything forward and it's actually gonna make him go um, forward when you flip it over. So I am gonna curl it though all down the center and then we'll go from there and I'll teach you a new little trick with getting more volume on the one side of the hair just by parting it a little differently. My hair is getting longer too. So if you go back and look at my other tutorials, my hair 
is a lot shorter so you can see that I'm allowed like I'm allowed I'm able to do different um, curls than I was before like I could have never done this short of or this loose of a curl before because um, there wasn't much hair there it was like this so you can't really get that loose of a curl so I don't know do you are you digging the longer hair or did you like the short and you don't want it to go long you can comment which one that you thought that you liked I've actually never really had long hair on my wedding for my wedding okay so this one's curlier than this one so I decide which one I like and I want the looser one so all I'm gonna do is when I come through here straighten it out just a little bit more and straighten this end out just a little bit more but when I got married um, Brady I grew my hair out I was in hair school I grew my hair out just for the wedding, all one length, a lot like this. But back when I did that, for me, I felt like I looked really homely with um, all one length of hair and longer. And so on the honeymoon, we went to Jackson Hole um, for a honeymoon. And on the honeymoon, I had taken my shears and we were in a, <laughs> we were in a hotel that had carpet, like the whole thing. Like the bathroom, everything was old carpet. And um, I had him cut my hair at the hotel and tried to catch every single thing that we cut because I had had it with having long hair. So this is a first for me since 20 years ago. 20 years ago. All right, we're gonna get this back piece in. And that has more curl down at the bottom than I want. So I'm just gonna straighten that part out. Okay, I believe the curls are done, even in the back. And see how nice and loose this is? So this is totally, this the flat iron just, it creates such a fun uh, wave that you can't get in your hair with using a, I mean, even a curling iron or a wand. So having the flat iron to curl your hair with it and how I like to achieve that curl is by doing the flat iron or the Leduo, which I did film a video with the Leduo having a loose beach wave too. It's the Leduo is just a fun tool that Lange came out with. Um, so now I'll just take my hands through it. You can do a salt and sea spray to create more of that more texture look too. Not too much though, cause it's a wetter product. And then it's seriously so easy. So I put more emphasis in the products before I blow dry my hair than I do in the products afterward. And then if you wanna keep it that um, wave, you can use a pomade. If you have a, a favorite pomade, comment it and help us out. But I love this one from Lange too. They just came out with it. And I'm crazy picky with pomades. And this one, it totally, takes care of my wants, needs, and desires in a pomade. Okay, and I like it too, because I can control the flyaways with it up here at the same time. So this take care of it all. All right, almost done. This is like with me talking, it's been 10 minutes with me talking, if I just, if I just was quiet, this could be even faster than that. But there's a 10 minute hairstyle just for you. Let me get all these loose hairs. I always tend to wear black on the days I do my hair. Why, I do not know. But this is my comfy cozy outfit where we all just blend in with our clothes. All right, so that's that. You can add volume if you want at the root. You can, you can um, tease it. You can back comb it, whatever word you like better. But I think that having a flat iron curl and creating beach waves using your flat iron is so fun. I love it. I don't know what people's favorite hair tool is to curl with, but I gotta say this is one of my favorites across the board. And that's that. Okay, let me make sure I have all this taken care of in the back because I gotta go find a mirror to check out the back and I'll come right on back and so you can see the final of everything all right we're good to go you want to check this out so such a light curl right it's so fun 
Do your curls with your flat iron. If you don't feel confident using the flat iron, think in your head what I said. Use the flat iron like it's the ballerina, the little ballerina that stays in kind of one place, but what's rotating is your wrist. And this hand will be used though to help it because your wrist can only go so far, right? So as you do it, as you come through, this hand might be needed to make it so that it's possible for you to just keep turning it and keeping it in that position as it goes down the hair. But using a flat iron to curl your hair to create beach waves, you're gonna love it. Okay, hair straightener, hair flat iron, whatever you wanna call this. You're gonna love it though. It makes such a difference. If you're somebody that has a little bit longer hair than mine, you might wanna go a little bit slower than what I went to pass it on through to get a little bit more of a curl. Um, or you can still keep it at this so you just get that wave. And this wave right here is what that second day hair does. But I'm gonna show you one key other thing. So this is what it looks like as it's parted down the middle. It's nice and balanced out. But you'll notice I did go in and give it a little oomph oomph right here. But if you want more, if you're not one that likes the center part, then we're gonna create, check this out. So I'm gonna do a part that's more over on the side, okay? And what the thing is though, is I wanna make sure that this center part isn't gonna come forward into my face. So instead of pulling it all forward, all I'm gonna do is mess with it just a bit to keep these kind of looking together. Okay, and what that does is now these ones are going forward, everything else is going backward, so they're kind of competing with one another, and it's gonna make it so that you get that volume that you didn't have before up here. And look, now you have this incredible volume that you might feel you need. So in order to get this type of, this high of a part over there, you do, so here's where people's parts usually like to sit. You do have to bring it over just a little bit more than what you're used to, and then just pump it up just a bit. Just a little, just like some of those, right? Okay, and then you're just gonna spray it with hairspray to help it get that texture and that curl. And you can even go in with the gentleman's pomade if you want, but that's how you get that added volume. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Jocelyn McClellan here, find me on Facebook, Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan. I go live on Tuesdays for makeup, Thursdays for hair, Instagram, I'm there all the time. Come on over to Inst Instagram, go into my DMs and be like, hey Joss, what up? Just found you on YouTube, wanted to say hi. I will message you back. I will do my very best. Instagram messaging kind of sucks, but I promise you, I do my best to message every single person back. If you need anything, you can always email me as well, jocelyn at fitmissionmakeup.com. And if you need any makeup help, I'm here for you in that department too. Take care, we'll see you next time. Ring that bell and subscribe to my channel. Take care, bye.